Okay, first grade, so we're gonna go ahead and continue working on our printmaking project. So last art class, we spent some time thinking about different types of lines, thinking about repetition. And so the next step is getting some markers. Um, I prefer Crayola for this project. You wanna make sure that you are not using permanent markers. So the Crayola are water-based. So that is what I would highly um, suggest is like a Crayola, you have to use water base for what we're gonna do. So make sure that it's not Sharpie markers or permanent markers. So using your markers today, you're going to be coloring anywhere there, there is white. So looking at this, I have a lot of white, but anywhere there's a line, I've pushed that foam down. So that's no longer a surface that will take any color when I'm coloring nice and flat. So for an instance, I'm gonna think about coming in and I'm gonna color with my red. Now, if I were to wipe this, it would come off. So I'm gonna start at the top of my foam and work all the way down so my hand does not get stamped with my marker. So as you can see, as I'm coloring, even if I go right by some of those lines that I created that are pushed down in the styrofoam, they're not coming in contact. With the marker here. So I'm just gonna keep going. And I want you to think about coming up with some nice designs with your markers. So all you're gonna do right now is spend some time coloring all the white areas. So I'm gonna continue working and I want you to spend some time working on coloring and I want you to notice I'm working to stay inside each line pattern. All right, so take some time and we'll come back once you're done and we'll finish up, okay? Enjoy that. Okay, so I just finished coloring, and if you notice anywhere that was pushed down, once again, does not have a color because that was, it's sunken. It's um, kind of that idea of engraving something. It's in our styrofoam. But all the white surfaces were able to be colored. So what's really fun about this is when you think about printmaking, you're going to be doing, your print is gonna be opposite okay, of when you first drew it. So whatever was white will now be a color. Whatever that was colored in with my pencil will now be white. So we're gonna go ahead and do this printing. Please notice I am not touching this because styrofoam does not accept, it does not absorb the color of these markers. These markers are just resting on the top of it. So if I were to wipe it, it would smear all over. So I'm gonna be very careful not to do that. So the next step is taking a piece of white paper, I want you to make sure, let me make sure you all can see this. Okay, my name is on the bottom. And I have a really, just a spray bottle here and I'm gonna very, very carefully, make <coughs> that's a little, I wanna just missed it, let's see here. That's a little more than I wanted, but I think well, it'll work, okay? I'm gonna just take a mister, you could even take a moist paper towel and just kind of wet your paper a little bit. You don't want it soaking. You don't want it like drenched in water. But what's gonna happen is taking my piece of styrofoam, I'm gonna flip it on my paper. I'm gonna try to make it nice and straight. And then using another piece, I'm just gonna lay on it and I'm going to rub. And this is great. If you have um, a parent that's there or a babysitter or even an older sibling that could just help you do this step, it would be really great. Okay, I wanna make sure I get every corner. 
So my spray bottle didn't work as well as I had planned, but I just took my paper towel and I got rid of that extra water just to dampen the, the paper a little bit. Okay, so here is the magic part. So when I lift this up, then my print has been transferred to my white piece of paper. So that's why I was saying it's really, really amazing. It's like magic. Now what I could do is set this aside I could take my markers back in and I could redo my red, redo my purple and go all the way down. And I could do this over and over and over. So you could have a whole series of prints that are made just by you, okay? So it's a really fun project. I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, go ahead, you can make a series. You can keep playing with it, keep working and um, make sure you share your artwork with me, okay? Have a great day.